Neil Davidson, the director of Renew Biomedical. Phillips has end of life, end of support on the Phillips MRX. I'm going to be going over some of the ways to know that it's been updated for the FCOs that they implemented. We have the cap plate. They put a new one that has four anchors and two screws underneath the sticker. The old one does not have these four anchors. They've also added a collar and a cover to stabilize your therapy cable once it's plugged in. On the back of the unit, you're going to want to verify that your battery pins are flush. None of those are broken or bent on both sides. They've upgraded the CO2 so that it closes back. And they've also updated, you have the new therapy cable versus the old style therapy cable which had three pins and no collar. On the batteries, you'll see they have the, the LEDs. If it's blinking, that's letting you know it needs to be reconditioned. And a good battery should have a full charge. I'm gonna go ahead and run an operations check. From here, it's going to instruct you to connect your ECG cable, plug in your therapy cable along with the test load, and then set your unit to 150 joules. It's basically going to run the whole test by itself, minus a charge and a shock when instructed to do so. Charges up to 5 joules, shocks into shock your test delivered. load. And ask if we heard the shock, we'll say yes, and then it's going to finish testing the rest of your parameters all the way down to your printer and give you a printout of your test. Here at Renew Biomedical, we still stock the parts and service these as well. We still have the accessories, the therapy cables, we stock batteries, um, we have the AC power supplies as well. Just give us a call.